認定宣言ただいまから行われます青木真也選手対川尻達也選手の試合は7月9日ルールディレクター立ち会いのもと厳正なる計量の結果両選手ともに規定体重を満たし心身ともに万全であると認められましたよって本試合をドリームライト級タイトルマッチと認定します2010年7月10日ドリームイベントプロデューサー笹原健一続いて青木真也選手よりドリームライト級チャンピオンベルトの返還です今笹原イベントプレゼントの手にベルトが返還されました Final instructions in the corner. Hit Ayoka in the corner there with Ayoki. Ishida in the corner with Kawajiri. It's been quite a while since we've heard such a vocal crowd at Dream Events. They are really into it here and split right down the centre. Absolutely, like you said, there's a, there's a lot of uh, people on both sides of this. Uh, particularly Aoki arouses really strong feelings either of love or hate in Japanese people as well. All is in readiness for this championship bout. Shinya Aoki, the defending lightweight champion of Dream. The challenger, the crusher, Tatsuya Kawajiri. First round will be 10 minutes long. Second round will be five minutes long. It will be Kawajiri trying to keep it standing for as long as he can. Working those heavy hands, working that wicked round kick. If it goes to ground, he wants to be on top. Sit inside the half guard and ground and pound. It'll be Aoki looking to bring him down. And lock on a leg lock, lock on a choke, lock on an armbar. Michael Chavello, Frank Trigg, and Hans Thompson with you. Aoki. In southpaw stance, he shoots in early for a single. The Kawajiri scrambles. Aoki lucky up the leg. No, Kawajiri won it. He's got his heel. He's got his heel caught. He's got his heel caught. He's got to turn. He keeps spinning out of it. He's in a bad way right now. Kawajiri is. He's almost in a full calf crush. One of the best submission artists in the world is doing his thing in the ring again. He has the top of his foot caught, so he can't get his foot out of there. He's extending the top of the foot fully out. Is he going to tap? Is it finished for Kawajiri? He heel kicks the face. He heel kicks the chest. Epic moments in the opening 60 seconds of this main event. And look at Aoki like a leech. He won't let go. How taste my feet. This is what Aoki does so well. Kawajiri cannot oh. play this game, surely. What a sight here. Aoki just twisting and turning. Aoki, Aoki's got to get his feet crossed on top of Kawajiri, get him locked in there so he can't get his hips away any further. And Kawajiri's going to start kicking his legs out to get his foot out of that armpit. He's caught him in a deep bag. He should have screaming, you can get it out, you can get it out. A grimace from Kawajiri. Aoki relax and look at the lead ring. That's good night, Irene! That's good night, Irene! That's good night, Irene! Aoki did it as Aoki does. Another thrilling submission. Yeah, he made it look simple. It was almost nothing to it. Shot him for a takedown. 
knew he was going to get counted on a takedown and then he rolled into a knee to a, a foot lock that turned into a crab cross that turned back into a foot lock. Huge welts under the left eye of Aoki. He might have taken one shot from those heel kicks for the fight. His fists are raised above his head. Emotions are spilling over here in the audience of Saitama. You cannot believe the atmosphere here, folks. It is amazing. Shinya Aoki has proven once again that he is the number one in Japanese mixed martial arts at the expense tonight of Kawajiri, who is still laid out. As Aoki climbs the ropes and salutes the crowd, he well, didn't even raise a sweat. Frank. Well, here comes the problem, though. On the ranking scale, seven and eight, seven wins, so the rankings are correct. Stylistically, though, Aoki got destroyed by Gil Melendez. We were hoping with the, with a, a power jury win, the Japanese would go back over and, and fight again in strike force and would have a better matchup with Melendez by using power jury. But obviously, Aoki destroys power jury. Now we have the best guy in Japanese martial arts in the weight class. He can't cross overseas to fight in America at all because he's got beat. So it's, it, it becomes, once again, for Japanese mixed martial arts, kind of a, a quadrant. Shinya Aoki doing the rounds here. A huge moment for him, not only defending the light like strappers, Kawajiri is still laid out here. And Aoki takes the microphone. This was a win that he needed. This was as impressive as Aoki has ever been. Said here, is, this is the end of Pride. Since, he said, I'm really happy that everyone came here to watch us and uh, for to, that Kawajiri came and gave it his best. I'm going to get married. Wow. Since the beginning of Dream, we've been together. I, I always wanted to make her happy, but the future of this Now we're going to get married. Wow. So a sense of romance and the dream here tonight. I'm going to put a dream on my shoulders and I'm going to make everybody happy, so come along with me. He has promised that before. The promise was derailed against Melendez. But is Aoki truly back now, and will he get another crack on U.S. soil? That is the question. The lightweight strap that will be placed around his waist again. He remains the champion with an ultra-impressive submission, Frank. What a great submission. I mean, he stuck with it the whole time. As like I said earlier, he knew he wasn't going to be able to get that takedown. He immediately shot that takedown to stop other action from happening. Gets reversed out in the middle of a shot and, and is able to finish everything off. You see in the background the white coach, the ringside physicians, they had to carry Kawajiri. You see it there, backstage. His yes. heel, his ankle is completely screwed up. We now got to wait for the report, which won't happen until tomorrow morning to find exactly what he tore in it. But Kawajiri fought it for as long as he could, but I can guarantee you that it's, it's pop he popped a couple of ligaments in there for sure. What did he do wrong, Frank? First of all, he didn't have that sense of urgency. As soon as Aoki grabs a hold of anything, starts wrapping his arms and his legs around, he has to immediately start kicking away, twisting away, trying to get it all the way out and away from his grip. He should have been a little more patient and started throwing a lot more uppercuts and haymakers to keep Aoki from getting that shot on him. You see the foot start to rotate back and out. That's the ankle getting twisted the opposite way. So, I mean, it was definitely getting something popped in him, for sure. And, and it's unfortunate for Cal Jury because he has the skill, he has the strength. He just didn't have the proper game plan like Gilbert Melendez did when he fought Aoki. Kawajiri didn't, didn't put that kind of game plan into effect for his style against Aoki tonight. Kawajiri will be ruining this day for a long time to come. He'll look back on it, he'll reflect on it, and think he fell completely into the Aoki trap. He was ensnared by Aoki, and there's a loving embrace. Aoki announcing he's going to get married. The dream strap over his shoulder once more, Aoki. He's a very proud champion. But some very emotional words there, Hans. I mean, Aoki's saying... Pride died tonight. Well, the whole storyline was about how they both came from Pride and 